Add a basic title to the storyline. Set the text of your title, including font, size, weight, tracking, etc. It will help you determine the bounds of your graphics. Since we will be adding multiple effects to this title, an instance will refer to a copy of the effect. Multiple copies applied to an object will be referred to as layers. Add an instance of highlighter to the title object. Position the on-screen controls. Give the top left plenty of room. Set the bottom right so that it roughly covers about the top two-thirds of the text and plenty of room to the right. Add another instance of highlighter. Position the top left on-screen control so that it lines up with the left bottom edge of the previous highlighter instance, and give it plenty of room on the bottom left corner. Set the first top highlighter color then the second bottom highlighter so that the top is lighter than the bottom. These can be any color you want but the top layer should be a lighter shade than the bottom. Use the feather controls to blend the colors so that there is a softened edge. Use the fall off to tighten up the gradients of the blurs. Add another instance of highlighter. Position the shape so that it roughly outlines the button shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can always go back and tweak your settings. Select Stencil Alpha from the Blend Mode drop-down option of the current highlighter layer. Increase the roundness to give the shape a rounded rectangle appearance. Add another instance of highlighter. Set the shape to where you want the lighting highlight to appear. This step is absolutely optional and you can skip it if you like. Reposition is necessary. Feather it. Set the color to white. In the inspector, grab the title bar of the last added highlighter and drag it upwards. You will see a space appear that you can drop it in changing its layer order to below the stencil alpha highlighter. Any excess out of bounds of the shape will be clipped by the alpha channel of the previous highlighter. You can use this technique to change the layer order of any effect in Final Cut Pro. You can continue to manipulate the shapes of any of the highlighter instances by selecting the title bar of the effect. To the stenciled highlighter, increase the outline opacity to 100%, the outline width to about 10 for this example, and change the color to match the button effect. To hide the bounding rectangle around the text, Change the cursor mode to anything other than select or zoom. Continue to fine tune adjustments until you get the appearance you want. Experiment with different blend modes. Each instance will have its own on-screen controls and Final Cut will only display those controls of the currently selected instance of an effect.